Right, welcome back everyone. We are at part two of our cylinder. We're taking it from paper to clay, from 2D to 3D, and we are going to coil. Yes, let's see how we start from the paper. So, first of all, here is the drawing that we've done before. And from this drawing, I can see that the cylinder top or bottom here is eight centimeters wide and therefore I cut a disc a paper disc from a separate paper that is eight centimeters in diameter and this is what I'm going to use to measure all along while coiling right keeping the sketch right next to me and by checking there I'm using the right measurements to start with a ball of clay and we're going to make a very small slab so round it neaten it and press it flat in your hand we're looking for a slab or you can also call this for now a clay disc for it should be more or less six millimeters wide okay if you've got a rolling pin you can extra neaten your slab okay make sure there are no air pockets keep rolling see the previous videos where I refer to what is a air pocket in clay remember I called it a almost something as a pimple in the clay skin right take your paper disc place it on the clay draw a line all around yes and then you may cut the disc there we go all around if your knife is not sliding very nicely you can add a little bit of water there we go place this on a surface area that you're going to work on right we're going to start now lightly spray the table with water to avoid a complete dry coil don't wait too much otherwise it will stick right i'm going to start by rolling my first quill notice that i roll from the tip of my finger till the end of my palm forward rolling into the table and coming back and into the table and coming back right if you struggle making flip-flop close your eyes stand up and roll into the table so how thick should my quill be i'm looking at the same thickness as my pinky finger i can measure it by holding my pinky next to the quill and making sure it's more or less the same size if you've got a really small pinky use the back of your pinky if you've got a really thick pinky use the tip of your finger Just before you add your first coil, you have to score on the clay disc that you cut out. Right, this means you crisscross all around with your sharp needle or your toothpick or your porcupine coil, whatever you want to use. Score all around this, make sure that the first coil is attached with a strong join. And then also a little bit of water would add for that strong join. Right. After the squirrel, continuing up for the first section of the coiling, you won't have to score in between because the clay is wet. That is why we're going to use the smoothing, which I used in the first part, the spoon, you'll see. Double checking that my coil is the right thickness.
So to place the coil, use your index finger and your thumb and put it straight down, press it as you are laying the coil down, right? Press all around as you are laying the coil down. When, I'm get, when I get to the beginning or the end of the first part of the coil, continue by overlapping. So I just continue laying down my coil, pressing with my thumb and my index finger. Okay. And right on top of that tip of the triangle, I'm going straight up. If you're going to lay it on the outside, it will open. If you lay it on the inside, it's going to move inwards. Right on top, that corner of the triangle. And you can press around, make sure it's properly on. And use your paper disc to measure. And make sure you're still using the right measurements all around. You're also welcome to use the ruler. Just make sure you're using the right measurements, all right? I prefer the disc, but you can use your ruler. Measure your treasure. Now we're going to join the quills together. You can either use a spoon gripping two fingers in the middle supporting on the, in, on the opposite side. Smooth. Read your clay. It's not just up or down. You need to check your coil. And smooth, smooth. Very important. You are not allowed to see any lines in between the quills. The goal of this part is to smooth, so no coil lines in between, okay? And you're going to do this for the inside and the outside. Remember to support on the opposite side of the pressure you're giving. I'm almost done with the smoothing patience patience in ceramics very necessary then after smoothing you are more than welcome to pinch now for pinching on top of coiling 
you need to feel that the clay is even all around and this comes through practice it's not something i can teach you you need to feel it all right so when you're done smoothing here we go you use your thumb and you press straight no bending your fingers because the clay will move out or in just straight thumb straight fingers and pinch okie dokie and after this first section where you have coiled smooth and pinch you have to let your cylinder rest let it get leather hard so it can carry more coils and not collapse if you don't wait it will collapse and before joining those second part of the coiling you have to score because now it's leather hard it's not soft anymore and so we will continue measure measure all right so i've been coiling and i've been smoothing by supporting on the opposite side for the second round i just used my fingers you can just use your fingers and before adding the last coil you're welcome to paddle and neaten the pot and this should be done when the pot is leather hard okay so you can go all around and neaten. measure with your paper disc check with the ruler do you have the right length up the same as your drawing because you planned it's okay to have it a little bit longer because the clay will shrink when it dries so it might become 
smaller or shorter than you expected measure measure your treasure so I just measured and with a fairly wet knife and a firm cut you can neaten the rim and after neatening the rim use a damp sponge clear that off all around make sure it's nice and smooth remember you can even paddle to make it more neat more strong sponge all over neaten it and there we go our very first cylinder our drawing great hope you had fun and this could be challenging try another one try two three seven 20 if you have to. Keep practicing, have fun.